Episode 5, Part 5 of Ahsoka titled Shadow Warrior is a really interesting episode. It's 52 minutes long, and we see that Ahsoka is in the world between worlds, and she's confronted by Anakin Skywalker. Yes, Hayden Christensen does return in the role, and he is there. I don't want to hear about CGI or whatever it is. The actor is there playing this role once again. It's great to see Hayden Christensen back as Anakin. And basically, Anakin shows up to kind of finish the training that he didn't get to finish with Ahsoka. And Ahsoka's like, what's going on? He's like, she's like, I'm not going to fight you. And they start having a lightsaber duel. And then we see Ahsoka going through a period when she was young, fighting in the Clone Wars, the Siege of Mandalore. And just the aspect of understanding what's happening and her going through this. All the while, General Sandula, Captain Tiva. Hugh Yang and her son Jason are just looking for Ahsoka and trying to figure out what's going on on Setos. And Jason the son feels something. He hears in the water that the lightsabers are going off. And you can tell that he's force sensitive, which is a really, really good thing. And as that's happening, we see Ahsoka and, you know, Anakin going through their own little story of progress. And we see Ahsoka how she wanted things to stop but Anakin's like you have to fight in order to survive and everything and as Anakin over the course of her remembering we see when he starts out he has a blue lightsaber great he's Jedi he's on the good side and over the course of her memory he's changing to the dark side the Sith red lightsaber all the while we see silhouettes going in and out of him changing back from Anakin to Darth Vader Darth Vader back to Anakin. It's a really, absolutely, really well done way they did that. Just the silhouette of seeing the, the aspect of Vader with the red lightsaber goes back to Anakin with the blue lightsaber. Back and forth is really, really good. And you're like thinking, what is Ahsoka seeing? And does she know that Anakin turned into Darth Vader? Well, that happens and then they actually find Ahsoka and they bring her back and basically it's just the world between worlds near death experience or she's in the water and the ocean of Cetos. they bring her back like i said and then they have to find sabine well she uses the half broken map and they figure out where she is and how to get there now what is the aspect and how it's going to happen we don't know the first 35 minutes of this episode is all focused on Anakin and Ahsoka. And it's really, really great to see that. And it's the talk of this episode that Anakin comes back in this and Hayden Kirsten returns in this role. Now, how are they going to get to Sabine? Well, they kind of use the Pergil. The Pergil is a semi-sentient species that look like a whale who in the Star Wars universe kind of capable of naturally jumping into hyperspace and they create their own tunnels kind of way through a Simu tunnels and travel to worlds where they find a in a way where they can inhabit where a rare gas with called Clausen 36 and it's really interesting like if you don't know the Star Wars lore of what this is or what's going on people who don't understand Star Wars are like what the hell is this? Did they just jump the shark? No. There is a reason Ahsoka is using the Pergil. It's great to see the Pergil. The Pergil have been in other aspects of Star Wars lore. They've been talked about, and it's really, really good. Not only that, Senator Organa, Leia Organa, is mentioned in this by Captain Tiva. Anakin mentions Obi-Wan. So it's a nice, nice episode that fits the mold altogether. It's a slow burn, but it's a really good story that fits the mold everything and what's happening and what's going on i absolutely enjoyed it but this is the fifth episode there are three episodes left eight episodes in total for this series we don't know if there's going to be a season two general thrawn has not come in yet and i'm curious to see when that happens hopefully he gets his own one episode and that's it then we figure out what's going on this was a fun episode this was an interesting episode and to people out there saying that star wars needs to stop they've jumped the shark they don't know what they're doing anymore it's okay sometimes it's star wars fandom versus one or two people that's going to win over that one or two people against the star wars fandom if you don't know star wars lore don't get upset don't get crazy like oh what is this show doing 
read up on it, know what the history and the lore, and then you'll understand what's actually happening and why Anakin is back. And, you know, it's all makes sense for someone who's a Star Wars fan like myself, who's been a fan for close to since I was young. It's really, really good. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this episode, Shadow Warrior of Ahsoka. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? What did you think about the aspect of seeing Hayden Christensen come back as Anakin? Did you like the silhouette of seeing Vader and, you know, Anakin go back and forth through Ahsoka's eyes? And do you like that the Pergil are in this episode? And what do you think is going to happen in the rest of this series? Let me know in the comment section below about all the questions I just asked about this episode of Ahsoka. And be sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for new review videos on my channel. I will see you all in the next review video. I'm Mr. Filmstock, and thank you for tuning in.